This video is part of our tutorial series for the SIG300. I'm Jazz, an AI avatar, and I will guide you through this tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the logic editor on the SIG300. The only prerequisite for this tutorial is that your computer must be in the same network if you are connected to the SIG300 with an Ethernet cable. If so, you will be able to access the web UI of the SIG300. The logic editor is a tool for real-time data processing or data flow redirecting. It allows you to control I.O. link and simple digital inputs and outputs. It also lets you receive and send data via the HTTP REST API. Data can be converted to different data types and processed using simple arithmetic and logic operations. In this example, a SIC WTM10 sensor is connected to port 1 of the SIG300. The SIC SLT060 signal lamp is connected to port 2. The configuration of the SIG300 is done on a computer that is in the same subnet as the SIG300. Our goal is to show a distance value from the WTM10 sensor as a level indication of the SLT060 signal lamp. First, let's connect the WTM10 and the SLT60 to sensor ports 1 and 2 respectively. We will need to log in as a service user to configure the SIG. Now let's upload the IODD files of the WTM10 and the SLT060. Open the IODD file manager. Select the IODD files for the WTM10 and the SLT060 that you have saved previously on your computer. Now we need to configure the IO link ports. Select port 1 from the ports list menu. Open the access rights tab. And make sure that read process and service data is enabled for the logic editor. Also enable the sensor port configuration for the REST API to configure the port settings. Open the port 1 settings again. It is important to set a manual device identification mode to have the WTM10 inputs available in the logic editor. So let's set the device identification check to manual mode. Set the validation and backup mode to device version 1.1, since the WTM10 supports IO link standard version 1.1. Make sure to select the correct IODD file. Open the IODD Viewer tab of the WTM10 sensor and make sure to select the first available process data mode. Repeat the same actions with the SLT060 connected to port 2. But this time, open the Access Rights tab and make sure that the logic editor outputs are enabled for writing process data. After you finish configuring port 2 with the SLT060, open the IODD Viewer tab and make sure that the Level Meter Process Data mode is selected. This mode enables the SLT to receive an integer value and indicate the corresponding level with LEDs. Now we are ready to create our first logic in the Logic Editor. Select the Logic Editor from the Applications menu. On the left side, you will find all available inputs for your logic, including constant values, REST inputs, digital inputs of the sensor ports, and I.O. link input data from devices such as the WTM10. On the right side, you will find all available outputs of your logic, including REST outputs, digital outputs of the sensor ports, and I.O. link output data to devices such as the SLT060. On top, you will find the application blocks library, these blocks can be used for data processing. 
Note that all inputs and outputs have specific value types such as integer, float, boolean, and string. To create the simplest logic, let's use the S1 distance to object input and S2 level value and connect them with each other. After you apply the logic, you will see that the indication of the SLT changes if the WTM 10 distance reading changes from 0 to 100 millimeters. Now we can add some complexity to our logic. Let's signalize that the distance value is more than 80 millimeters. We can use the S2 user alarm indication output of the SLT for that. First, we need to compare the distance value with 80. Find the integer comparator in the application blocks, then drag and drop it on the editor whiteboard. The comparator compares two values and outputs a Boolean result. Drag an integer constant value and set it to 80. Connect the inputs of the comparator accordingly. Now we need the if-then-else condition to output 0 when the distance is less than 80, and to output 1 when the distance is greater than or equal to 80. Find the if-then-else integer switch in the application blocks, then drag and drop it after the comparator. The switch has one Boolean and two integer inputs. If the Boolean input equals to true, then the switch outputs the value of the first integer input. Otherwise, it outputs the value of the second integer input. Connect the GEQ output of the comparator to the level A input of the switch. Then connect two integer constants to the switch inputs level B and C. Set the constants value to 1 and 0 accordingly. Connect the output of the switch to the S2 user alarm indication block. Apply the logic. Now the SLT indicates the distance value of the sensor. But if the distance is more than 80, the SLT will switch into alarm mode. You have now learned how to use the logic editor of the SIG300. If you are interested in learning more about the SIG300, please refer to our further tutorials. Thanks for watching.